incoming transmission. Greetings, everybody, and welcome back to Space October. Issue 4 features the USS Sulaco from the movie Aliens and briefly appeared in Aliens 3, if I'm not mistaken. So, a little bit of insight into the USS Sulaco. This was a Conestoga class troop transport which was in service of the United States Colonial Marine Corps. This ship was commissioned in 2169 and was an overall length of 385 metres. We joined the Sulaco on its mission to find out what happened to the colony on Hadley's Hope. This ship was a light assault carrier class ship. It featured missiles, particle beam weapons, turrets, mines, and kinetic energy railguns, and also had defensive capabilities of point defence and various jamming technologies. It had auxiliary craft of four assault and cargo shuttles, as well as the Cheyenne utility dropships. Aesthetically, this ship is very interesting. Looking at it, you have a lot of hull plating with various antennae and weaponry at the front, along both the dorsal and ventral side of the ship, leading back on a very long and slender design with a large aft engine bay. Coming out of the alien universe, this ship has definitely, in my opinion, attained iconic status, having that stark naval tradition, as well as being pretty much shaped like a, a dagger in space. And again, like a lot of sci-fi movies that came out of the 70s and into the 80s, it had that ominous, long, slender vicious profile we've been jumping around on various franchises so far even though, even though we're only at episode four of spaced october but i remember picking up the uss Salako early on in my ship collecting days and uh very very glad that i did because again i may have watched aliens when i was maybe a bit too young <laughs> but outside of the frightening xenomorphs and jump scares uh a few awesome ships definitely uh, came out of it. And again, with all its little greebly goodness, it's not the most vibrant in colours. However, that lends to the ominous, purposeful feel of the ship. And I'm curious to know what you think of the USS Sulaco. It is heavy in hand, by the way. And again, if you want to find out more, do check out the links in the description box below. And if you have any interest in facts or want to see a ship featured in Spaced October, let me know in the comments below, as you have been for the previous videos. So, that's our little bite-sized Spaced October video for today. Thanks for stopping by, and if you can, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sane, and I will see you for the next episode. What ship will it be?